number. Factors. And factors are basically numbers that a larger number can be divided by. So we'll start with a real simple one here. What are the factors of 4? To determine that, what I want you to do is write down the number 1, because 1 is going to go into every number, and then the number that you're trying to find the factors of goes out here towards the right. So the factors of 4, first, the first two we have are 1 and 4, because 1 times 4 is 4. Then I want you to work your way up, starting at the 1, to the next highest number, which is obviously 2, and ask yourself, does 2 go into this number 4 evenly? And yes, the number 2 does go into the number 4, and its partner goes out here on the other end. It's kind of like we're closing a curtain in together. Once the curtain is closed, we know that we're finished finding the factors of that number. And so you see the factors of 4 are 1, 2, 2, and 4. Well, we don't need to name the number 2 twice. We know that 4 can be divided by 2. Why do we have to tell somebody that it can go in two different times? So we can erase one of those 2's and just say the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4 because the number 4 can be divided by each of these numbers evenly. Let's go a little bit higher here and try a harder one. How about the number 8? What are the factors of the number 8? Start with the lowest number and its partner, of course. 1 times 8 is 8. Always start down here and work your way up. The next number that can go into 8 would be 2 because 8 is an even number. 2 times 4 is 8. And so I'm putting its partner out here. You can see I have 1 and 8, 2 and 4 being partners. Now, as we close our curtain into the middle, the only number that's left between 2 and 4 is the number 3. And you can ask yourself, does the number 3 go evenly into the number 8? Well, of course not. 3, 6, 9, it jumps right over the 8. So we don't add 3 to our list. So our list is now complete. 1, 2, 4, and 8 are all factors of the number 8. go up to a little higher one. How about the factors of the number 15? Again, start with 1 and its partner, which would be 15, because 1 times 15 is 15. Now you go to the next higher number, which is 2, and ask yourself, does 2 go into 15? Well, 15 is not an even number, so you can't divide it by 2. So let's not write a 2 down there. Go to the next number up after 2, which is 3, of course. Does 3 go into 15? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yes, 3 goes into 15 evenly. How many times does 3 go into 15? 3 times 5 is 15. So 3's partner in the factoring uh, of the number 15 is the 5. 3 and 5 go together. As we close in our curtain, we'll notice now that the only number left between the 5 and the 3 is the number 4. Does the number 4 go into the number 15 evenly? 4, 8, 12, 16, no, nope, jumps right over it. So we're not going to add a 4 to our list, and our list is complete. 1, 3, 5, and 15 are the factors of 15. All right, now let's try another one. How about the number 24? Now this one's going to have quite a few, I think. The number 1 and the number 24, because 1 times 24 is 24. And then let's go to the next highest number, 2. Does 2 go into 24? Well, yes, because 24 is an even number. So 2 times what is 24? If you can't figure that out, you're going to have to use your fingers. And you're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So I just held up 12 fingers. 2 times 12 is 24. Now let's go to the next highest number. 1, 2, 3. Does 3 go into 24? Hmm, well, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Hey, it does go in evenly. So 3 is a factor of 24. And if you don't know what 3 times hmm, some number is that's equal to 24, you're going to have to count that out. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 
21, 24. So three times eight is 24. You can see that our numbers are getting closer to each other, three and eight. As the curtain closes in, we've only got the numbers four, five, six, and seven left between these two numbers. Your curtain is not closed when the numbers touch. That might mean that you just put them too close to each other. Your curtain is closed and your problem is complete when the numbers come together in number order. So the next number after three that we should try would be four. Does four go into 24? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Hey, four goes into 24. So we're gonna add that to the list. And again, four times some number is 24. If you don't know that, you're gonna have to use your fingers on that one. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. That goes in six times. Okay, well our curtain's getting pretty closed here. We've got four and a six. The only number left in between those, of course, is the number five. That is five going to 24. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oop, just jumped right over the 24. So five's not part of the list. So this is how you do factoring of numbers. I wish you the best.